Martin. You know that gay bar in town with the revolving dance floor? Mm -hmm. Well, they're doing a Kelly Clarkson night tonight and singing Since You've Been Gone at the Top of My Lungs is just what I need. Uh, what do you reckon? Do you fancy it? I don't know my Kelly Clarkson from my Kelly Osborne, babe. What? And you call yourself an ally? I'll go with you. Oh, you two know each other? Not at all. Except this morning, I think he mistook me for another person. I can't say I'm a fan of the gay scene, much less pop music, but if it means an evening with a handsome man like yourself, I'm happy to make an exception. I'm Dr. Levi Rochester. No, ta. I've got bath salts that want using. See you, Martine. You're right, Goldie. Can we please get three glasses of Prosecco? What's the celebration? A man realising what's good for him. Oh, well, let's make that four. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lise. Oh, I'd settle for anyone right about now. You know, it's even got to the point where I'd consider dating someone who's into sport. Scott, don't say things you don't mean. Anyway, that Dr. Levi was falling over himself to ask you out. And you were just plain rude. Yeah, well, we've met before. Yesterday, he made it crystal clear that Anita Tinkle repulsed him. Now he doesn't even recognise us. He's probably not used to drag queens. He asked you out even though he's not into the gay scene. Right. He is clearly more open-minded than you think. <laughs> oh. So the first thing you need to know about Kelly Clarkson is that there is way more to her repertoire than her biggest hits. Even if you're not a fan of her pop music, her Christmas album is one of the most underappreciated of all time. OK. So, if you're willing to keep an open mind at the club night later and not be one of those real music snobs, then I suppose you can pick me up for dinner at 7.30. That's not gonna happen. Ah. Oh. I get it. Well, listen, enjoy whatever boring, straight-acting, super-mask nonsense you've chosen over someone as fierce, fabulous and ferocious as Scott Drinkwell. It's not that I don't want to go out with you. I've just found myself with a mountain of work to do, that's all. Ah. Oh. Right. Well, in that case, you should probably just forget that incredible speech I just gave you. I really hope we can go out another time. Just maybe somewhere a bit quieter. Here. Take my number. Oh, business card, eh? Proper fancy. <laughs> right, well, I'll, um, I'll text you later. I'll be expecting, what was it? Fierce, fabulous, ferocious. <laughs>